Hi, my name is Dave, and today we're going to repair a casting. This is a uh, typical problem with old aluminum uh, castings used on telescopes, and I've done many, done this many times. So I'm going to show you how I do uh, a casting repair on a small piece of cast aluminum. Okay, so we'd like to repair a broken part. Uh, this is one half of the broken part, that's the other half. And what we've done here is we've drilled a couple of holes, hopefully a little bigger at the bottom. Uh, and those are going to be filled with epoxy. Uh, I like JB Weld, um, but I, I like the, uh, the good, strong JB Weld. But it's up to you what you use, I would say. Use something good. And in here we put a chunk of a uh, threaded rod, a bolt, a chunk of bolt of the appropriate length so it'll fit in between there when we squeeze the two parts together. It's nice that it's threaded rod because that way it helps to grip the epoxy better. Now uh, when we squeeze the two pieces together we should have plenty of epoxy and we're probably going to have a lot oozing out. But we want to make sure that we're embedded nicely up here and nicely down there and uh, so that the, the threaded rod will bear most of the load of holding these things together. Of course, there'll be some epoxy in between here as well, especially with an aluminum casting that's half porous. So, uh, but by the same token, it's mostly the aluminum rod that's going to do the job. Now, it's very nice if you can thread this into one end here, like so, instead of embedding it in a bed of epoxy. Uh, and that's what I'm going to show you today. But it doesn't have to be. Uh, you can just use two nice big holes with uh, hopefully rounded bottoms and a nice threaded rod. So here we go. Beautiful casting. Broke it in a vise. Just so I could demonstrate how to repair this. You can see that it was uh, <laughs> pretty well chewed up already. It's no major loss here. But now let's see, let's break this apart the rest of the way. There we go. Now you can see what we've got here. Got one piece like that. The other piece like that. Uh, let's see if we can fix this, shall we? You can see these two pieces here. I've got those holes. However, that's not going to work right because this wants to be at an angle. So I'm going to have to bend this bolt over. See if I can get it to fit in that bottom hole. Okay, now I've cut it off. And as you can see, with a few taps of the hammer, Got it together pretty well. I think you'll agree that with a little bit of uh, filing and some paint, that would probably come close to disappearing. So, I'm going to go ahead and put these together. The important trick here is to make sure to get the holes well filled with JB Weld. You want to make sure to get uh, plenty of JB Weld on those threads, of course. when you put the bolts in it's going to compress that even further but get as much in there as you can you can always clean off the JB wall later you want a good bed for those bolts to sit in Let's try it. 
right, let's see how it works. Enough. Some of the excess JB weld is squeezed out of there. Now, structurally, that's going to be pretty sound. Those castings are not very strong anyway, so structurally, that's going to be pretty sound when it dries up, when it, uh, when it seasons well. So it's going to be pretty good, but it's not going to look quite right until maybe you do some filing and painting and stuff like that that's uh mm -hmm. that's up to you how you do that now here's the completed part it's been setting all night so it should be fairly well cured by now uh looks pretty good hmm I've always wanted to test one of these and see how strong it really is. Well, looks like it's holding pretty well. Ah, there I broke it. It held pretty well though, I would say. Uh, probably survive under normal use. Not as strong as the original, I guess, but not bad. So there you have a, a repair. I hope you've enjoyed seeing this casting repair on small aluminum parts from telescopes. Thank you very much for watching.